pause the video right here. This, this could be you. All right, play. Okay, so I don't know if you know this already, but there's this little button right here that lets you send a clip from Premiere right into After Effects, and it links the two together. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? After Effects then creates the composition for you to the exact length of those clippies and lets you do whatever the hell you want with them while keeping it linked to Premiere. After Effects really has a lot more in terms of options when it comes to editing, but perhaps not enough so that you choose to just edit with After Effects. Personally, I like to edit with Premiere Pro, but link between After Effects for the tougher parts of the edit. This video right here is for those of you who have no godly clue how to use After Effects. So come on then, let's get you reaching new heights and dipping your toe into After Effects safely. I'll hold your damn hand, all right? I'll take care of you. Don't worry about it. So here are three really, really easy things that you can do when you link your clips to After Effects. Number one, smooth zooms. If you're a pro gamer and you want those super squeaky clean zooms that just scream professional, then Papa Finzar is here to help you. Have your clip ready in Premiere. This one will do. Then in Premiere, you're gonna wanna smack a zoom on it. It doesn't matter where in the video you do this, it really depends on the clip that you're zooming in on. So make the zoom using these variables here in effects controls panel. Keyframe them like this by clicking these stopwatches where you want the start of the zoom to happen. Then you're gonna move forward a few frames and adjust to the final position. Now, Right clicky that shitty and you'll see the button we talked about earlier. By clicking this, you're gonna open up After Effects. Assuming your PC can handle running the two together, which is actually quite the task, you're gonna wanna create a new project file. You then just press S on the keyboard to show the scale, and then you're gonna press Shift and P together, and then this shows the position. As you can see, this makes those keyframes we just made visible at the bottom of the timeline. To get a super easy smooth zoom effect on it, all you have to do is highlight those keyframes and smack F9 on your keyboard. This will automatically create smooth beziers for you, or what After Effects calls easy ease. Finally, you go on over to the left and hit this button here, which then enables motion blur. And Jesus Christ, we have the best looking zoom effect you can get. I'm telling you. Bam, smooth zooming, done. Easy peasy. Let's move on to number two. Tracking. Sometimes when something is moving just so damn much, the Premiere Pro position variable just ain't gonna cut it. Tracking is a pretty popular effect when it comes to pro gamers, which you see with a lot of gaming channels. It adds a real feeling of cleanness to an edit when used well. So once again, let's find an example clip and let's track it. Here on this one, I wanna zoom in on the guy that's going towards the door here. But as you can see, the camera shakes a lot because of the gameplay. And I just want to get rid of that. Fortunately for us, After Effects has the answer to any footage like this. So as we did before, you're going to right click and then link the clip. When After Effects pops up, we're going to make sure that the clip is selected and then head on over to the tracking box and hit stabilize motion. A motion tracker will pop up in the center of the screen. Move this to somewhere which has a clear contrasting edge in it. And also keep in mind that this should always stay in frame. We're basically trying to give After Effects the clearest image to lock onto. If it's tough to find something, then don't worry. We can manually track it when After Effects can't detect something, but we might not need to, so let's give it a go. So hit this button here and let After Effects go to work. Or if you want, you can go through frame by frame with this button here. This one allows you to keep it in line the whole time so that you can spot it before it goes crazy off track and maybe adjust it. Also guys, just so you know, to scrub through the frames, you use page up and page down in After Effects. So this is it when it's done. You can see the path of where it's gonna go and you can just scrub through the footage just to make sure that it looks nice. When you're done and happy with the result, hit apply and then hit okay. Now you have it applied, you can obviously see that there's a lot of clipping on the edges because we haven't zoomed in. You know what? It. Let's smooth zoom this. So like in Premiere, we're gonna add a keyframe at the beginning, move forward a few frames, add two more keyframes by zooming in and changing the position. Then we're gonna highlight those keyframes we just made, press F9, click the motion blur button, and then we'll BAM! Nice! We just applied two things we just learned. Together. Uh-oh, get back. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry, sorry, the noise. Number three, rotoscoping. 
Oh boy. I hate doing rotoscoping. I hate it. But I have to say, it can lead to some pretty sweet looking effects. I've used it a couple of times before to create more tricky masks when green screening hasn't been enough. You'll see that I've used it in Detective Finn, the sound effects tutorial that I did, and also my recent setup video. So let's say you want to make a scene where you switch out the background from a character in the game so that he or she is separated. In this sense, we're doing a bit of photoshopping. We're going to cut out the character and then replace the background. But instead of it being static, we're including those movements from the game. So let's quickly create a duplicate of the clip. Alt and drag to the layer above. Right click the top layer and link to After Effects. Then we're going to double click this layer here, which is the clip we've selected, and it will bring that into layer view. We need to make sure that we have actually double clicked it because if it's not in layer view, then this won't work. Now we head up to the top left and we see this brush tool here. This allows us to then paint on our character. To change the brush size, all you have to do is press control on the keyboard and then click and drag the mouse. This will change the size of it, as you can see. To remove some of your selection, you hold alt and then paint. This will get rid of any bits we don't want in our selection. So green is to add and red is to take away. There's a little thing here that isn't too obvious that we have to drag along so that it'll render the whole clip. Once we do that, we hit spacebar. Now, this may take a while, and nine times out of 10, it's gonna look shit. Fortunately, you can go back to whichever frame looks bad and repaint or take out bits which have randomly popped up or cropped out. Also on the left side, you've got a bunch of brush settings which you can change to suit the video you're making. I personally don't change them much, but you can change it, have a play around. So after a bit of tinkering, here's the final thing. It's not great, but it's serviceable. Back to Premiere, and let's add a background. Here's a good one. I'm gonna put it into the middle between our two clips and just size it up. You know what, it doesn't look great, but it's just an example to show you how to use the rotoscoping function. This effect really does have a lot of potential if you use it in the right circumstances. All right. Ooh. Okay, so before you go and reap mayhem on the streets of YouTube, I wanna say a quick thank you to my patrons. And I also wanna let you know that they're getting early access to almost every video I make, and also some exclusive ones here and there. So if you wanna join them and help the channel out a little bit, then I'd really highly appreciate it. And I'll leave a link in the description to my patron. Every penny goes towards keeping this channel going. So thank you to everyone who's already giving me your hard earned cash. These guys right here. Look at these guys. You're all beautiful, I love you. And so are you, viewer, whoever's watching this. I hope you have a great day. Let me know what you think of this video. Say hi in the comments. Man, I don't, I don't have an outro. I don't have a f***ing outro. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. It's been fun though. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. I'm out of here. Subscribe to Finza!